Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to continue playing around with this database. In a previous video I just made a crosstab query, and I want to check out some of these other uh, kind of more of advanced queries that you have query wizards for. For instance, I want to check out duplicates. So I'm going to create a uh, search for duplicates query. And the situation I've got here is I've got uh, I've got a number of employees. I've got like 300 employees that are, let's say, contract workers. And there's a number of different kinds of tasks, web development, DB management, graphic design, and so forth. And these employees are sent out on various jobs. So on a particular date, a particular employee works for a particular client. And they do a particular task, whether it's programming or graphic design or several other choices. I keep track of the start time and the end time. In a query that I created in a separate video, I look at the total number of hours and we can come up with billable time and things like that. So what I want to look for are errors in the jobs log. I'm curious, are there any employees that are working two different clients at the exact same date and time? So. I want to make sure there's no double entries in here. This could be obviously data entry errors or it could point to some kind of fraud. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. So I'm going to close out of that table. I'm going to head over to my query wizard and this time I want to do a find duplicates query. Find duplicates query wizard. I'll click OK to start this up. Which table of query do you want to search for duplicate field values? I'm curious about my jobs log. That's where the potential problem might be. So I'm going to go to my jobs log and I'll click next. Which fields might contain duplicate information? Well, there's a number of fields, but what I'm concerned about is a particular employee. Um, actually, let's see. I'm, I'm going to look for job date and employee ID. And let's see, I think I'll also go ahead and get, um, nope, that's good. I think I'm going to focus just on these two. Let's keep it as simple as possible. Because really, this is what I want to draw my attention to. Now, just because the same employee had two different jobs on the same date, that doesn't necessarily imply a problem, but it is something that I want to focus my attention on. It's really going to be a duplication of the date, the employee, and the times. But these are the two that I really want to focus on. Using my job start time and job end time would not necessarily make this a better uh, query because an employee might have you know, five different job start times in a particular day, but if each job is only 30 minutes, that doesn't, necessarily, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean there was any overlap. So these are the two fields, the job date and the employee ID, that I really want to focus my attention on. So I'll go ahead and click Next. Do you want the query to show fields in addition to these? Yes, I definitely do. This is where I would definitely want my start times and end times, because this is going to help verify if there's any double billing. Um, so I'll go ahead and bring in all these, these other fields. I'll bring in client ID, task ID, start time, and end time for the particular job. Next, what do you want to name your query? I'll just go ahead and keep the default name. That's perfectly fine. And I'll click Finish. And I've got 32 records of duplicates. So let's kind of see what some of these results are letting us know. I've got this one employee here, M5216. This employee worked for two different clients on the same day, January 23rd. And check out this. For one client, they have a start time logged of 11.40 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., so right there in the middle of the day. Their other client, they started at 8.50 a.m. and finished at 12.30 p.m. So there's clearly some overlap here that is that warrants some investigation. So there was a period of time where they were, in theory, doing work for two different clients at the same time. So this could very well be a data entry, either in start times or end times, or it could have just been a mistyped date when this job was being entered into the database, or it could be an example of a fraud attempt. So that's what the finding duplicates query can be helpful for. And it's literally, it's finding duplicate information. And now I've got a list to kind of go through and verify. And if there's a problem that needs to be fixing, this is going to help us find that. So that's a fine duplicates query in Access.